I feel like I have so many good stories that I didn't write down. Welcome to the Lightweights Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Joe. That's Ilya. Yo, do you know the difference between <laughs> cement and concrete? One has water, one doesn't, no? No. What? Cement is just an ingredient of concrete. Okay, and concrete's the stuff that you make. Right. So when you say, is that concrete, you're implying, or sorry, when you say, is that cement, that's actually incorrect. It's Cement's just the powder. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that? Nah, yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Because obviously you answered it fucking wrong. I didn't answer it wrong. Okay. I knew that. I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to you today, okay? Can I just go? No. Can we do this a different day? Nope, because I got a flurry of conversations. Did we make any money in the month of May? Yeah, we did. How much? It, it's based on us having guests. <laughs> we don't do guests anymore. How much money did this podcast make in May? Blur, Nine. Blurred out. Thousand dollars. We made we made that much? Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> I gotta start coming prepared. Yes! <laughs> okay, I have a hot button debate because I got into it with someone the other day. Is guacamole a condiment or a dip? A dip. Not a condiment. I mean, it could be used either way. It can be either way, but what is it? Does it matter? No, nothing really matters. <laughs> right, right. So why are we talking about this? <laughs> we have 25 minutes we got to fill up. I, I just don't like arguing. So That's I'm, our whole thing. Well, I want to stop doing that. So what, you just want to get along? Yeah. I'm down to do that. I, we could try and see how it goes. Okay, I think it's a uh, dip. Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> It doesn't really flow as nice. No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> you went to New York this week. How was that? It was amazing. Took another helicopter ride. To get to the airport or? um To get to the airport, yeah. Was that fun? Really fun. You can see all of New York City. It was fucking great. Yeah, and you save a lot of time by doing that instead of taking a taxi. So much time. It's, it's five minutes on a helicopter. Five minutes on a helicopter. Five minutes on a helicopter, like an hour Holy riding uh, with the car. Yeah, and we also did this really cool thing. Our buddy down there. Sam Sheffer has um, longboards, like electric longboards, where you don't have to uh, push off, off with your foot. You just use like a, a remote. And through the city, like through cars on the actual street, not on the sidewalk, but on the street of New York City, streets of New York City, we would longboard for like 30 minutes. Wow. It was really, really fucking fun. Is it scary? Extremely. Extremely. <sighs> because you get hit by a car... You're done. Yeah. Like, it's not like a motorcycle where, like, you have a chance because you're, you're like, on a piece of equipment. You're done. Like, you get fucking hit, you're done. Uh. Yeah, it's bad. But it's so fun. And, like, you're going, it's, the longboards are so fast. It's not what you think. It's like, they go, like, 30 miles an hour. Yeah. So you're going the speed of the cars. It doesn't wobble when you get that fast? Oh, it does. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's really scary. But you get used to it and you, like, your your feet start to understand where to stand, um, and it gets really fun. Have you ever been to New York? No. I'm from there. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> How many times have you been? Well, you're, not, you're not from New York. You're from New Jersey. I've been there 150 times, 200 times. Really? Yeah. Oh, would you go like every weekend? Like, would that be like your like like go out spot? No, because it was kind of too far for that. But if there was a special event or a concert or something, I'd go to that. That uh, would be that would draw me in. And then I also interned in the city for three months there. How far were you from New? Like how far was your house from New York City? Like Fit, from from Manhattan. Ten minutes to the train, fifty minutes from the train to Manhattan. That's kind of like ours was. Like when I grew, was growing up, it was about like an hour. Yeah. To the city. Would you go there to do stuff? Yeah. Uh, when we got older, when we like were seniors in high school, we just started going a lot. Uh-huh. The city's the best, dude. In the summer, taking a train ride, hopping off the train, dude. The warm weather, the lake. Ah, oh, it's the fucking best. It's the bomb. Oh, you have a lake in the city? Well, Lake Michigan. Oh, and what would you do there? You could swim. You can play volleyball. You can get drunk. And then we had people that we knew, like with apartments in the city when we were younger. Yeah. That were like right on, like right lakefront. And, it, it, dude, it's such a cool fucking feeling. It's such a cool feeling. I've never gone to the lake there. Really? I've been to Chicago a couple of times, yeah. The lake is freezing cold, but it's really fun. Everyone always says that, that they don't understand how, like, that lake can be that big. 
they can't, they can't they can't comprehend that it's a lake cuz yeah. when you look at it when you think of a lake you don't think of like this massive ocean looking thing you just think of like you know like a little lake like almost like a pond but then you get to lake michigan and you're like whoa is there waves yeah really yeah i mean not not as big as like the ocean the ocean waves but there's waves yeah oh wow yeah it's it's we, pretty cool. I went to this soft lunch of this new restaurant called Irv's Burgers, mm-hmm. and it was started back in like 1946, and they're bringing it back. The founders are this one guy, Lawrence, Addison Ray, and Dana White. So I go there. Guess who's standing across the room from me? Dana White. Guess who walks right past me to go get her burger? <laughs> Addison Ray. Ronda Rousey. Oh, wow. Guess who I missed by an hour because I left? Who? <laughs> The Rock. No way. The Rock went there an hour after I left. Wow. Yeah, Lawrence has some really good connects. Insane connects. What the fuck was The Rock doing there? And then, dude, Ronda Rousey walked right by me. Oh, that's so cool. And we weren't sure if it was her, so I wanted to like kind of like elbow her and see if she just puts me in chokehold. See what happens. <laughs> Were the burgers good? Incredible. Yeah, he also is a part of Burgers Never Say Die, which is... Smash burgers. Yeah. I, I like a regular patty better, though. I love Smash Burgers way better. Really? Yeah. We're supposed to do that. When are we going to try that on camera together? <laughs> you just got really sad. I'm so sorry. Yeah, because every time you're always in a diet. <laughs> I'm not in a diet. I'm just, this is my lifestyle, man. I'm it sorry. It fucking sucks. <laughs> That's how I'm so ripped, bro. You got to fucking start trying it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, then. Can you flex me? No. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How's Zila going? You know, your protein company that you don't normally talk about? It's good. Are you guys dropping a new flavor soon? Yes, we actually are dropping a new flavor in July. Um, that's going to be fucking dope. And it's in collaboration with very special people and a very special brand. The people I know? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you all about it off record. But yeah, it's going to be fucking dope. It's going to be really dope. Is it in the works right now? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many flavors? One flavor of, of protein and one flavor of pre-workout. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you start doing the taste tests? Yep, we started uh, two weeks ago. We have actually another one next tomorrow. Where? In Costa Mesa. Can I come? Sure. Really? Yeah. What time? 10 a.m. Great. See you there. Oh, you can come train with us at Equinox if you want. We're going at 7 a.m. How many people? No, I have a trainer. I'm just cancel him. No, I like him. What's you- his name? Oh, light. <laughs> tell me, tell me what you do with the trainer. What I did with the trainer? Well, not like sexually, but like what you do in general. Oh, like my workout breakdown? Yeah, yeah. Why? I just want to judge him. You're gonna no. I don't. I like want to judge him and you right now. I don't want to do this. Why? Because it's probably not an intense workout. <laughs> it probably actually is. Any trainer that I take that back. <laughs> Can you just tell me? Okay, I get there five minutes late, and then. <laughs> <laughs> He has me stretch for 30 minutes. <laughs> like and, then, and then <laughs> and then we talk about getting And breakfast. then I do arm swings. <laughs> <laughs> I get there on time and then he makes me go on the elliptical. I do 5 minutes and then he has me put on the gloves and I do the punching bag and I hit the bag for about 15 minutes and it's like different variations of like 1 2 mm-hmm. uh jab jab hook jab and then I do like a, a full circuit workout afterwards. Would you uh, come with me to a boxing session? Yeah, a thousand percent. Tomorrow? What time? 6.30 p.m. P.m.? Where? Santa Monica? David's house. Who is it? Uh, my trainer that I've been training with for over a year now. Is it just me, you, and him? Uh, me, you, him, Heath. Probably. All right. All right. I'd love to do that. Why? <laughs> I just want to work out with you. We've worked out together in a long time. Yeah, back at Scott's gym was the last time, right? Yeah, I mean, that was like a year and a half ago. And we were all business. We just put on M&M and just focus. Yes. That was the best. That was the best. Okay. That's when we were real friends. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Are you following the Johnny Depp Amber Heard stuff at all? Yep. It was just leaked that Johnny Depp got his first role since everything started and he's supposed to be in the new Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice 2. Oh, wow. And he's slated with his former lover, Michael Keaton, and star Winona Ryder. And someone found it on a call sheet. This is his first role. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. 
that it's like he's coming back? Yeah, I, it's like pretty clear. R- r- first off, I want to say this: no one actually knows what happened, except for the two of them. Except for the two of them. Put that aside. It's clear that there's a winner of favorability, mm-hmm. and that's obviously Johnny Depp, right. right? So I'm not surprised he's getting roles. Like I'm not surprised if he'll come back bigger than he was, right? You know what I mean? I think his first movie back, people are gonna go support him no matter what. A hundred percent. That's what I'm saying. Like it just is what it is. Yeah, it's what? set for a release in 2025. Which is which is crazy. Like I made a point yesterday. I was talking to Dave and, and the boys. I was like, this is why I don't take sides. Because I have no fucking idea. No one knows. Nobody knows. No. It does not matter what you think. That's why weighing in on stuff doesn't matter. Exactly. Exactly. No point. No point. You sound like a Zizan. Sorry. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that guy. (laughs) If you could take any rapper's catalog as your own, who would it be? And what song would you be most proud of? No Eminem. Oh, come on, bro. And no Logic. (laughs) Okay, just fucking strip all my pride away. What the fuck? But yeah, no. Okay. Um, oh, fine. You can have Eminem. No, I'll make it difficult for me. That's fine. Okay. Um, I will take. <laughs> <laughs> Too intense. Yeah, this is really intense. I have to look at my phone. And you don't have to like fall in love with the rapper, but like if you just think their debut album was so big for them. Oh, their debut album only? No, no, no. Any album. Kanye West. Which one? College dropout? Um, no. Homecoming. Why? I don't know. I just like it. How about you? Can I say Eminem? No. <laughs> what? Uh, Dr. Dre, Chronic. That's good. Because it, it just changed everything for him. Right, right. And he just became so massive from that, and he was able to just produce on everybody, and he changed the game. Yeah, I like that. To be able to like change the landscape of something would be insane. Yeah, we're doing it right now. Yeah, we are. Changing the podcast landscape. Do you know how many people comment saying they love this table? Two. This morning. What? Like they just DM you like I love your table that you do the podcast on? They love our setup. Hmm. <laughs> how many listens do we get per uh, podcast episode? Are you questioning us? <laughs> I am cushion us every day because our fucking app doesn't work, Joe. So I can't look at the analytics. So I'm bl- I'm blind. I'm a blind rat that's running around doing this podcast. Like I have no idea how much money we're making, how many views we have. I don't know if people like us anymore. The only thing that we got going is these fucking stupid ass, did you know, TikToks. That's all we got. Everything else, I have no idea what's going on. So you tell me. You tell me. How many people are listening to this fucking podcast? Tell me. Because I am lost. Are you done? Yes. Are you done? Go ahead. We've been getting the same lessons since we started. We haven't gone up. We haven't gone down. We have the most dedicated fan base. How many people? Say the number. I'm I want to hear the number come out of your fucking dirty mouth. <laughs> Whoa. Say the number. I'm bleeping it out. Okay. Thousand in thirty. On average. Yeah, in a month. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking crush it. Uh, well, you know what? To be honest with you, I'd be happy with like if we were if we were growing. So do we start giving money out to people again? Like, should we just sacrifice all of the money we make on the podcast and make it grow? If we start doing guests, let's bring back the giveaways. Okay. <laughs> do you want to do that? I'm like, all right, well, who's the guest? <laughs> <laughs> Guests are tough, man. No, they're not. There yeah, they are. They're so easy to talk to. For you. <laughs> you have to understand, I care about a very mm-hmm. little amount of people. I know. If you pull a mirror up, that's who. Yeah. Well, me and like maybe, yeah, just me. <laughs> <laughs> so for me to sit there and talk to somebody like forcefully yeah. is really hard. It's 25 minutes. It's really hard. If it was an hour podcast. I don't care what it is. Even if it's three minutes. I can't even have a conversation with a girl at a bar because I don't give a fuck. Right. So it's very difficult for me to fucking sit here professionally for 25 minutes and talk to somebody about something that I don't care about. Right. You know what I mean? And it's not that. I'm not saying that person's bad or good. Yeah. That person could be great. But do I care? Sounds very fucked up, but like it's true. Yeah. I care about you. That's why I'm here. I know. I'm blessed. 
You checked out after the first 30 seconds today, but you're still here. What do you mean? You said you wanted to leave. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I was just, I wasn't joking, but <laughs> I care about you. Let's, let's, let's do guests and let's do giveaways again. Okay. Who Seriously. The, okay. Well, who are the, the, the guests that you brought up the other week? Two of them I liked out of the three. And by like, I mean, I can get along with. Possibly. I don't know them. You're not trying. <laughs> we're not trying to date them. We just want to talk to them. Do we? We're trying. I do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk to them about? It rounds us out as individuals getting to talk to people. I'm rounded. No, you're not. I'm literally a fucking sphere. You are an, uh, a hallway. You are a long hallway with no doors. Tunnel vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's great in some aspects, but we got to round you out. All right. I agree. We need to start putting those doorways in there for you so you can start talking to those girls at the bar. I don't want to talk to those girls at the bar. Okay, then just to talk to regular people. Like, to, to talk to your mom. To give your mom a call back. <laughs> that's, okay, you shouldn't have brought that in because that's never going to happen. Okay, I am done with guests. <laughs> no more guests now. <laughs> you are the best podcast host in the game. You mean that? <laughs> you post one insecure TikTok, it goes viral. So many people comment how hot and funny you are. Really? I saw, I saw that. That was weird. Yeah. Have another emotional breakdown, man. People love those. <laughs> okay. I think I'm fat. What else you got? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see I gave Jonah a electric bike? You gave it away? I surprised him with it. Yours? Yes. Or, oh, wow. Did he freak out? Lost his mind. Really? Yeah. Not that it, it means anything. I just thought it was funny. I thought the bike was like $1,300. I looked it up again when I was um, doing the description on the YouTube tab. It was $3,300. And I was just like... <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah. Did you get it for free or did you buy it? Uh, they gifted it to me. And then I wanted to gift it to Jonah. You're like the king of regifting stuff. Yeah, but like cool stuff. Yeah, I agree. Look at those boots you're wearing. You haven't taken them off since I gave it to you. Yeah, I'm in love with these fucking things. I hate it. It makes you so much taller, and I feel like your confidence has gone through the roof. Literally. <laughs> it does make me a little taller. Do you like it? I love it. Is that why you wear them? Part of the reason. Do you also have platforms in there or no? No. Oh. Because I saw them at your house. I know. It was, it was for a joke. I, I was. They were there for a joke. Why are you so defensive? I'm not it? defensive. They were there for a joke. <laughs> okay. You're getting real angry. You won't finish that water. No, I won't. I could probably finish this water before you finish that water. I really doubt that. Done. <laughs> that was barbaric. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best pizza topping? Have you ever had banana pepper pepperoni? Pepper. Uh, banana. So banana peppers and pepperoni? Yeah. No, but I imagine being amazing. Unreal. Really? Yes. Like, fucking insane. Okay. Like covered or like 50%, 25%? How much? Covered. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the pizzas we're going to have at Dobrik's. What kind of pepperonis? Like the the nice curled up ones when they're really cooked? Yes. Ooh, that's hot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for that fucking place to open, dude. What that's kind good. of dough are we talking on that one? Um, I personally, for me, the banana pe pepperoni, I like on thin crust. Ooh, I need a thicker one. You like it on thick? I picture that one being like a nice girthy one, almost as if it's a Pizza Hut commercial. Uh, I mean, that could work, but I just like it on thin for some reason. Mm. Well, that's from your, where you're from. I realize that. Uh, Chicago has a lot of that thin crust pizza. Well, that's Chicago's original pizza. It's not the deep dish. It's the tavern style. Right. Like the, like the bar... Bar Barbarian pizza. Oh no, bar top pizza. We don't really have that in New Jersey. Our crust is like medium sized. You know what was crazy? I we went out to a, a club in New York, and after we were hungry, but I didn't want to go get just pizza because I I'm on a health kick, whatever. So we found a fucking restaurant. Were you drunk? No. Oh, we found a restaurant. This is two a.m. Probably even later. Two a.m. A restaurant, an Italian fine dining restaurant was open, and I had a full roasted chicken and a side of spinach. Wow. Isn't that insane? Yeah. New York's crazy. I mean, it was insane. I could, was like, what the fuck? Could you see yourself ever living there? Yes. Really? Yeah. So what I didn't realize, so I've been in New York like 
four times. This is probably my fifth or so. Every time I go, I don't actually get a chance to explore the city because we're always going to a specific destination. And, you know, when you're in the car, you're looking at your phone, whatever. But this time, because of the longboarding, I got to ride around maybe like 10, 15 miles worth, like visibly on the longboard, right? Like I, I got to see everything on the longboard. And I'd realized that New York is very similar to like Europe in uh, many areas. This, because the streets are tiny, right? There's buildings fucking everywhere. Some of the streets are cobblestone. So it, especially Soho. Soho was like exactly like New York. I was like, what the f- This is, i sorry, exactly like Europe. I'm like, this is really cool. So yeah, I could totally see myself living there. The problem is, again, like the winters, bro. The winters are brutal. You don't like the snow? Fuck no. Fuck no. But it'd be cool to visit. Yeah. For sure. Do you know how much the budget for Pirates of the Caribbean was? A hundred million. No, a hundred, two hundred million. Three hundred and seventy-five million. Holy fuck. It's the most expensive movie ever made. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Over Avatar? Um, Yeah, according to my... <laughs> research i hate that i have to fact check your facts yeah it is pretty crazy because i'm right every time every time i haven't proven you wrong yet but i still just doubt you uh oh yeah yeah you're right avatar's budget was 237 million wow i told you how'd you know that i just know man i was trying to rent a pirate ship um, shut up i swear to god and i was looking online for one and i looked at i'm not joking probably 25 different websites and I couldn't find one that looked like the one in Pirates of the Caribbean. And I was like, where the fuck do they get these ships? You know what I mean? Right. Are they just sets? They have to be. Yeah, but what about all the scenes? I mean, maybe that's CGI. It's got to be a set. I'm sure they build the boat. That's sick. Yeah. What were you going to do with a rented pirate ship? I was going to... Um, do a music video on it. Shut <laughs> up! No, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, it was. Did you have the song already? Well, yes, but it's not my song. Um, it's something that David showed me. Uh huh. It's called The Wellerman. Oh, that song. Yeah. There are once. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You were gonna. <laughs> yeah. And I couldn't. I couldn't find one. What were you gonna do with the music video? Just nothing. I mean, post it. But it was just you. No, no, it would have been like. Probably five, six more people. And you just be on the pirate ship singing the song? Mm-hmm. It's really funny. Yeah. So if we could do that, that'd be cool. But you couldn't find any. But I'm sure there is one. I'm At sure. the height of my YouTube, I was trying to buy a submarine. A submarine? Yeah. What the... For what? That I, I don't get. You, I think you can get them for like 50000 What? Yeah. It's a complete waste and I wouldn't know what to do with Hold it. On, but I, Like how big is this submarine? How big are we talking? Like a standard. That's just it's 100 feet what are you saying yeah maybe 150 feet yeah but i don't, I don't know how to fly one drive one <laughs> sink one well you wouldn't you wouldn't have to yeah i would just leave it in the harbor where it is a lot of cartels would have them and then <laughs> and go so to you, you're going to buy one from the cartel <laughs> hi <laughs> <laughs> okay senor we have uh is joe at 1 p.m <laughs> he wants to muck a bang with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking him. <laughs> he wants to bang me? <laughs> uh, Can we rent a boat and do a fun boat day for everybody? Sure. That we were supposed to do that. And we, we'll do a photo shoot on it. Okay. You want to do it this week? Or should we wait next week when it's a little warmer? <laughs> yeah, let's wait until it's warmer, my G. <laughs> Mid June. Let's do it. Okie dokie. Okay. How big of a boat are we talking? Same one that you got with John. Nah, we should do bigger. Bigger? Yeah. For what? For well, for fun. Did you hear how much money we make on this pod? Yeah. It's just enough to cover the boat. <laughs> 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 guys, thanks so much for listening to the Lightweights Podcast. My name's Joe. That's Igor. I mean, Ilya. Bro, you got to stop calling me Igor. Why? I just don't like that name. People think it's so fun. Maybe a handful of people. That's a lot of people. Nope. If you want to get our merch, go to lightweightspod.com. Are there any left? Yep. <laughs> How many? Many. Really? Yeah. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. My uh, room's still full of them. <laughs> if you guys don't buy the merch, I'm going to burn it. <laughs> I'm literally going to fucking burn that fucking merch. You guys don't buy it. 
I'm burning it. It's ninety five dollars. Figure it out. Okay. Goodbye. Lightweights out. Nice nips.